Okay, so moving along, uh, we're going to define the point JSON. So the idea for the uh, point JSON was to store the um, position and rotation in a condensed format as opposed to the vector 3 in the quaternion. So we are going to store them as um, an array of three floats, basically for each uh, for each one. Actually, this is the constructor. I want to put this right here. And then in the constructor, we take the spawn po uh, spawn point and uh, convert it to uh, that format we just uh, mentioned. So I'm just going to copy this to make things easier. And um, copy it again for the rotation. And so over here, instead of doing position, we're going to do Euler angles to get it in uh, degrees, which is the format we'll be sending to the server. So the next one, serializable. Position JSON. So this will be a. This will just contain the position. Um, and uh, I mean, it seems pretty repetitive. This is basically we already have um, point JSON, but. If we do this, we can optimize our networking by not passing back as much information. Um, so maybe they just moved and they didn't rotate. So if we do this, we can basically um, just uh, send positional information um, using less data. So I believe this is the one that we are actually sending to the server when we move. Okay, serializable. Okay, the next one is for the rotation. So it's going to be very similar to the class above. So I'm just going to copy and paste it and modify it accordingly. So this will say rotation. And then over here, we'll say rotation JSON. And instead of a vector 3, it'll be a quaternion underscore rotation and we'll say rotation equals same kind of thing but we'll also do Euler angles over here like that I think I got an extra one of those. Okay. 
Next on the list is uh, user Jason. Serial. I don't know why this is so hard to spell for me. Okay, so this one's going to be kind of special. So this one, the server is going to send to the client, notifying them when another player other than themselves joins the game. So that's what that's going to be about. So. Here's our constructor. Actually, this isn't our constructor. This is basically a helper method to take in a string of JSON data and return the actual object. So this, uh, this class here is pretty cool. It's from Unity. Um, so it's it, the uni's got their own library for converting json strings to objects and vice versa so that's what we're doing over here the from json we'll also see the to json in a bit okay next on the list is health change json so this is going to happen when we shoot an enemy or another player or we get shot and we need to not only change our health but um, send the, the message to the server and then the server will update the health accordingly and send a message out to all the clients so they all get that update. So we have a constructor here though, so this will instantiate the object using these parameters. That's a pretty wordy constructor I know. Okay, so that, that's one of the messages that the client can send the server. And uh, next up, uh, we have a serializable. Okay, so th this one is going to be enemies JSON. So it's going to be public list user JSON enemies. Data return JSON utility. So th this is uh, another one that we get back from the server. Uh, it's going to tell us, you know, what what's the state of all the enemies in the game when when a new player joins. In case some interaction happened there. Um, so yeah, uh, next up is the, is going to be the shoot JSON. It's 
So this will basically tell the client, you know, who got shot. Or no, no, this this was to um, instantiate the bullet. So we basically, if you know, one of the clients, um, the local player, um, presses the space bar and makes a bullet. We want to make sure that all the other clients see that bullet too and instantiate the bullet. Um, so that's what this is about. Shoot, Jason. Data. And um, lastly, uh, we're, we're going to have one more serializable JSON class, uh, user health. So this is what the server will report to the clients about the health. I might have said that about another one, but this is actually the uh, the one that does that. Now I can see that. Um, so when I say user, um, I, I basically mean you know any player or enemy, basically any game object that has health. Uh, so return JSON utility from JSON user health JSON data and then okay we're already ending the region so that's all our JSON classes that's basically all the messages that we're going to be sending and receiving um, in this game so we kind of got a lot of wrote a lot of stuff there but that that should be good um, in, in the next video, um, I think we'll be taking a break from Unity and we'll start working on Node.js so we can start setting up the, uh, the server and stuff like that. So um, yeah, in the next video, we'll, we'll just kind of be doing uh, JavaScript stuff uh, for the server.